Okay, so these are some of our early ancestors here, your early human ancestors, and some of our cousins over here and here. This is Australopithecus africanus, which lived in Africa, South Africa, three million years ago. Homo habilis was in East Africa around two million years ago. Homo erectus was the first to leave Africa, and they went into Asia and Europe. This skull was found in Asia a million and a half years ago. This is the Neanderthals, everybody's favorite caveman. These guys were around from almost 400,000 years ago up until 40,000 years ago. So now while we had these guys living in Asia and Africa, we also had these guys over here. This is Paranthropus boisei, and they were an offshoot of Australopithecus that just evolved in a different direction. You can see the difference between the jaw of Homo erectus, which was alive at the same time, and Paranthropus. That's because he was an herbivore, and you can see he had big, flat teeth like that for grinding up all the vegetation. If you're an herbivore, you have to eat a lot more food. And they evolved to look a bit like a gorilla with these big muscle attachments on the side of their face, but they weren't evolved directly from a gorilla. They just evolved a lot of the same traits because of the same environment and they ate the same type of foods. Another offshoot of the Australopithecus is Homo naledi. They were found in 2013 in a cave in South Africa and they were announced in 2015. Now, when they originally found them, they noticed that they shared a lot of the same traits with the Australopithecines, and they were found actually within a mile of one of the real popular sites where a lot of these were found. But when they dated them, they found out they're only between 200 and 300,000 years old. So they share a lot of the same traits with Australopithecines. From the waist up, they have the long arms, curved fingers, and from the waist down, though, they have legs and feet almost just like ours. So. Now, while these guys were alive in South Africa, and these guys were alive in Europe, we also had what we call the Hobbit, is his nickname. That's Homo floresiensis. And they were discovered in 2003. Now, the grown adults were only three and a half feet tall. That's why they nicknamed them the Hobbit. But we see that they used stone tools, they made fire, they cooked and butchered their meat. So they were doing everything the Neanderthals were doing in Europe at the same time as uh, but just doing it in a smaller scale in Indonesia. Now, people used to think that it was more of a ladder-like transition from one species to the next, but now we know that most of the time there were several different species alive at the same time. This chart here shows there were nine different types of humans alive between 200 and 300,000 years ago. 